Thank you so much for listening to the message. Thank you so much for spreading the message. Thank you so much for standing with us. It makes us stronger. We want to make sure that all the kids in the community are safe because we know that Sean was murdered. Jared and I are very, very grateful and thankful for all the support we have received. It's very hard because we have also smaller kids and they ask questions, you know, and um, it's been very hard. I am amazed daily basis on the bravery. We have tips where people come forward and I can tell they're afraid, but they came forward and they want to share and they want to tell and they know what happened is wrong. They want to make things right. That is so uplifting. Um, that gives me so much strength. And I think at that moment, that is not hard for me. It's hard for them because they have to live with that. And if they cannot say because they're afraid, that's a bigger burden to carry. Anyone who is trying to help, you can sign the petition, email, call, write, congressman, any legislative, anyone who you think can help or how you guys have been tagging. That's how the podcasters heard about it. I don't know all the podcasters. I didn't even know there's this beautiful community that supports each other so much to talk about these kinds of issues. It's amazing. And maybe they do realize, but maybe they don't, how hard it is on a daily basis to read about Sean. It is very emotionally intense because we are talking about the case, correct? It's like watching a movie and it's a cold case. But then when I slow down, it kind of hits me. It's my son. <laughs> when it's hard, it was harder for Sean, <laughs> not for me. He was just 12 and he deserves justice. Sean was always very simple. He didn't do eloquent, big plans, simple. He would say, mom, just fight for me. <laughs>